State Patrol tell us that they believe this is yet another case of teenagers and distracted driving. The 20-year-old driver told him he was texting before the collision. The witness says he was driving behind the pickup when it swerved into oncoming traffic, hitting the bus head on. A chase stemming from a Nerf war ended with a crash that seriously injured two innocent people. And the year before, two Lakeville teens involved in a Nerf war died in a pickup crash. We see it time and time again, crash after crash, all because of a distracted driver. Now, I'd like to be able to sit here and tell you that I'm never distracted while behind the wheel, but that, that would be a lie. When I was 17 years old, a junior in high school, I was driving home from school one sunny afternoon, and all of a sudden I heard my phone ding. It was a text message. So I did what I always did. I looked down as I was driving and started writing that reply. And in just a matter of seconds, my car was driving into the ditch, smashing into things. I had glass from my windshield all over me and I came to a complete stop. I was shocked, I was scared, I was frantically searching the scene, trying to figure out what I even hit. Now, I, I was okay, and what I hit, it was just a mailbox. It was something that could be replaced. But that didn't stop the what ifs from coming to mind. What if what I hit was not a something, but a someone? Someone just out for a run like what happened to Monticello High School grad Philip Lavalli, who was killed by a distracted driver in 2013. What if what I hit was the back of a school bus, like what happened to Deej Logan from Byron, Minnesota, who was killed on her first day of senior year in 2012? What if my distraction was the result of a death of a friend or a classmate I was giving a ride home to, like what happened to Shreya Dixon of Eden Prairie when she was killed just catching a ride home. All of these tragedies because of one bad decision. You see these stories and you never think it'll be you, and it doesn't have to be, because it all comes down to one choice when you're behind the wheel, to drive distracted or not. Which is why we here at CARE 11 are making it our mission to put an end to distracted driving by not only bringing more awareness to this growing epidemic, but to be that constant reminder that only we can change our behavior when behind the wheel.